got no problems, we gon' make a way Got no coach on the field, but we making plays Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay we, uh, we are traveling to the West Coast And we got a big, big robbery game Going down in South excuse me, in Southern California, Battle of L.A., uh, between the USC Trojans sitting at nine and one, six and four against the spread, taking on the UCLA Bruins, who are eight and two on the year, six and four against the spread, who definitely were looking ahead um, last week, and they ended up losing the game against oh. Arizona, which which uh. What's that cat name? Dela Cruz, uh, uh, or Dela Dela Lar? I forgot the name. But he was at Washington State. He transferred in, down to Arizona, but they end up dropping that game that they should have won. Uh, but they're still led by a very explosive and dangerous quarterback, probably the most explosive cat this season in college football. Uh, DTR at the quarterback position. This line opened up in favor of USC minus two and a half. Right now, that line is at two. There are some one and a halves out there. There are even some two and a halves out there. So, however you're feeling, uh, be sure to keep your your options open. There are some books out there. Now, the total opened up at seventy three and a half. Right now, that line sitting at seventy six and a half. There are some seventy sevens out there as well. Uh, get to these actual factuals for the USC Fighting Trojans. Um, the overs hit five out of the last six games. They are nine and one against straight up in the last 10 games, five and two straight up in the last seven games against, uh, UCLA two and five against spread in the last seven games on the road. The under hit six out of the last nine games when playing on the road against UCLA seven and one straight up in the last eight games against a Pac-12 conference opponent. And they are eight and three straight up in the last 11 games when playing in the month of November. That doesn't really matter because they got a whole new team, whole new coaching staff. So that that stat you can throw that out of there. Uh, UCLA five and two against the spread in the last seven games. The overs hit six out of the last eight games. They are eleven and two straight up in the last thirteen games. The overs also hit four out of the last five games against USC. Eight and one straight up in the last nine games at the crib. The unders also hit six out of the last nine games on playing at the crib against uh, USC. Eight and two against the spread in the last ten mm-hmm. games. Against a Pac-12 conference opponent, seven to one against the spread in the last eight games in the month of November, and ten and five straight up in the last fifteen games playing in the week twelve. If you like that statistic, uh, injury reports right now. As we all know, we saw. Well, I don't know if everybody saw. I was watching the game. Travis Dye, he is out for the season with a lower body injury. Uh, man, they, there's just a slew of injuries right now for USC. Uh, linebacker Eric Gentry, he is probable for this game. Uh, wide receiver Mario Williams, he's probable for this game as well. Defensive back Damani Jackson, he's questionable for this game. But they've been dealing with a lot of injuries. Uh, like Jason Rodriguez, the guard, he's been out. He's out for the whole season. I mean, they got a lot of injuries right now. While UCLA, I mean, shit, Kager Jones, running back, he's questionable for this game for undisclosed reasons. And Casimir uh, Allen, running back, he's out. He's questionable, excuse me. For this game as well. Uh, last time we seen USC last week, they won 55 to 17 against Colorado. And like I said earlier, you dropped 34 to 28. Probably was looking ahead to this big rivalry game this week to Arizona 34 to 28. Like I said. So with that being said, battle LA, USC, UCLA. Marley, what's your play, my boy? I this is a uh, from the West Coast perspective. This is a big game. Like for these two big schools, game. Man, big, this big, is, big game. This is this is UTOU Red River Shootout. You know what I'm saying? They play in each other's mm, backyard. You know Bellum's this weekend too, but we're not we're not covering Bellum. But Bellum is this weekend, but we're not covering that. But go ahead. Right. I am, and you know USC dominates this goddamn um, rivalry, obviously, but not today, not Saturday. Not today, I'm taking the UCLA Bruins. On the money line, and I agree with you. Money line me, please. Money line me, please. And I agree with you. <laughs> they was looking ahead last week for this game, and they fucking slipped up and lost to Arizona. You can't slip up this week, then. You've been pre- preparing for two weeks for this team to come in your backyard at your crib. I'm taking UCLA. 
I think they're going to – I think the defense is going to step up just for this game. I'm not saying the defense has been playing lights out and they have a good defense, but they're only giving up 26 points a game. And outside of the Oregon loss, you know what I'm saying, they've been, like you said, the most surprising team in the um, – in the Pac-12, and uh, although that that Oregon that Arizona loss really hurt them, you would think it would be a letdown for the season. But you got your rivals coming in, so there's no way it can be a letdown. Like I said, this is the game you've been preparing for for the last two weeks. Um, DTR, most explosive quarterback, probably in the game um, right now. Um, she'll be a first round draft pick, I think. I don't know, late first round, maybe second round. I don't know, but. Um, and the running back, uh, oh, is it Charbonnet? I think that's his name, Zach Charbonnet. Yeah, yeah. 7.5 yards a carry, over 1100 yards rushing, 13 touchdowns. It's not like it's all on DTR. The offense is going to produce, I think they're averaging like 40 points per game, 39.5. Um, I would. I want to lean over, but that shit is just too high at 76 and a half. But I'm on the Bruins, man. I think they're going to take this one at the crib. Big game. Been preparing for two weeks. Give me the dog at the crib. All right, Mar- Marley likes it out. Well, we going to hit the head this week because I know you're on the I'm on, on USC. I know you're on USC. And, and, and the fact that – Hey, 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 it don't even matter. They don't have to get on the road. They just got to cross the street. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just cross they just crossing the street. I I'm on USC money line me, please. Because I think yeah. Lincoln Riley, okay, uh, he's gonna come out with it. I think all those transfers are gonna come out with it. Now I am a little concerned with them losing Trev Stop, but they got a nice little running back. Freshman boy back there, who they say don't the care next. about this game, coach. No, he cares. He he, he 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 no, cares. And he, and he, well, 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 this one ain't a transfer. He's a LA boy. Okay, I'm talking about uh Rakeem Brown, who went to modern day. He's a LA boy. He grew up Reggie Bush. He he went to USC once he found out Lincoln Riley was going there because he was going he was going to Oklahoma. He came out. They gave him touches in the backfield. They threw him some passes out the backfield, and he, and he feeling it, and they feeling it. And I think USC gonna come out on fire this game. I, I gotta ride with USC. This is gonna be a loud little game, man. Hey, it's going down this weekend. It's Thanksgiving Ruins. break. I ain't gotta work. I really want that first half. I ain't gonna lie. You really want the first half? I mean, DTR is that guy, Chip Kelly. I, I like Chip Kelly, but I just think USC gonna come out with it now. Caleb Williams, you can't be tripping out there, my boy. You he can't do dumb time. stuff. You be tripping. Not against these boys. You can't do that. All right? I need Addison to show up. I just think USC is going to win this game. They might win it by field goal. That's why this line is down uh, where it is. They might win by a touchdown or I'll say not two touchdown, but maybe 10 points at the most. But they're going to win this game. They should cover this. But, hey, man, it's two. Why not just take the money? and call it a day and not stress we just need a victory i'm on usc money line me god damn it for this one hey we appreciate everybody tuning in i am the coach that's marley bits we are brothers and bits uh, 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 uh. check it out uh Look, we from the bottom, ain't no problems, we gon' make a way Got no coach on the field, but we making plays Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay We 